Hi, Linda from Linda's Essential Science. I'm here at work and my first client cancelled so I thought I'd jump on and do a really quick little video based on skincare in winter. Now today for the first day in a little while I am not wearing any makeup and I've just had a bit of a teary, um, just some sad news with the client. So, um, and I'm really proud of how my skin looks. <laughs> so why am I proud of this? Because I have been using the Yarrow Palm and the Salubel with the Virage um, moisturizer and my little frankincense and lemon spray. And I sort of rotate and change around and things like that. But I've been using that for consistently two weeks. Now my skincare regime usually is pretty poor in that I sometimes do stuff and I sometimes don't. The only thing I would ever really do consistently is maybe my lemon and frankincense spray at night. Um, always use, use generally wear like a BB cream or a CC cream and then some mascara. I'm off to Bali tomorrow. So I have done nothing this morning except for um, put my hair up and throw my clothes on and run out the door. <laughs> but I'm here and I'm pretty proud of how my skin looks considering, as my husband likes to point out, I'm 40 next year. I'm not doing too bad. <laughs> but what, what do I do? So I am um, not really a believer in deep cleansing. I might be shot for this and be told all the reasons why I should be cleansing my skin, but honestly, I don't really cleanse that often. Um, realistically, in the shower, I very rarely use anything. I don't even really use soap that much. And if I do, it's the doTERRA body wash. But often that's in the kids' thingy or a back here, and they barely wear, use soap either. So um, if I do, it's just down here on my face. I just use water and my hands. I don't even use a cloth. So I use water and my hands. Now, if I've worn a lot of makeup, I tend to use... Um, of something like an, an Enyo, um, they do really cool uh, face makeup things and I'll remove any makeup and stuff with that but even then often I just use my hands and then I hop out of the shower and I dry myself down and then what I what I tend to do is grab um, the Yarrow Pom and I blob it like over here it's blue and very thick and I'll pop it, pop it down here too um, and then I will do a spray of my um, frankincense and lemon if it's a night time if it's not if it's in the morning I don't do any don't do a spray of anything um, I'll do a spray of that um, and I sort of massage that all in a couple of pumps of the Virage moisturizer or the hydrating serum whichever moisturizer I'm tending to use at that time and then I rub that in and then I grab my Salubel roller now that's a pure roller I don't dilute mine down because I use it very sparingly but you, a lot of people do tend to sort of convert a third of it into another um, roller and dilute it down with a fractionated coconut oil. I don't do that. I just use it neat and what I do is I roll a little bit on my finger and I'll dab it like put it along the areas that I want. So the pigmentation here um, after summer it was a lot darker and because I wasn't using anything uh, that I should because I couldn't be bothered. It's not my thing. Um, I'll usually pop it around those sorts of areas, fine line areas, and just a really small amount and sort of massage it into the moisturizer and the arrow pond that's already there. That's all I tend to do and walk away and then um, 10 minutes later or something, or half an hour later, or, or if I can be bothered, I come back and I'll apply the CC or the BB cream um, and some mascara. And that's all I do. That's all I do. And look, I'm not perfect by any means, but I'm doing, I'm doing all right. I'm quite proud of how my skin looks today. That's what I tend to use on my skin. You can use any oil on your skin. It's like so easy to experiment. In the mornings, I never ever put citrus on my skin and that's because it can make my um, our skin photosensitive. So I tend to stick to citrus because it's quite brightening. I love citrus, it's brightening and it's freshening for the skin and quite cleansing as well. And I'll put that on in the, more, in the evenings. But in the mornings, if I am gonna do a spray, it's generally lavender frankincense tea tree or frankincense and lavender, it's always frankincense and something, geranium, sometimes I pop in there, it's quite nice, blue tansy, um, manuka is wonderful um, for skin as well, spikenard's great for skin, what else, um, mm, can't think of anything, peppermint's brightening, but I don't, I tend to find, and freshening, but I tend to find it's a bit too much, so I don't tend to add it, but I know some people that really love peppermint in theirs as well, um, yeah, lots of different ideas. You can add it to coconut oil and spray it. You can pop it a drop in your hand and add it to your moisturizer. The essential oils are just going to support your skin and really, really bring out um, that natural glow. I really does. I'm, um, 
I'm very impressed with how well the Aeroplum Salubel combination is going for me. Um, and I do like to mix it up because I think our skin enjoys differences a lot of the time as well. So yeah, I hope that gives you a few little tip bits and information. Oh, and little pimples and things that pop up. This one was quite huge coming up yesterday. It's already almost gone. Um, I just do a dab neat of lavender and then dab neat of tea tree, just like that. And then leave it. No rubbing it in, no anything. Just dab neat, walk away. And if I can do that a couple of times during the day, generally it doesn't come up at all. So yeah, this one popped up because I didn't do it. I did it once and not like multiple times like I often, often do. <laughs> it's called slackness. You know what I like to say? Oils don't work if you don't use them. <laughs> Thanks guys. Love and hugs and have a wonderful day.